Tommy. So I'm glad you can make it. Are we excited to paint? Yeah. Awesome. So do you want to take a look at some of my work? Awesome. Well, I really am in known for my gallery work um, in very colorful and whimsical landscapes and seascapes. Do you know what that means, whimsical? Yeah. It means kind of like dreamlike, like the things you see in your dreams. So I like to play a lot with light in here and I really love to paint the sky. That's my favorite thing to paint. So I like seeing the sun and how it kind of interacts with, um, with the water and with the land. One of the things that Stephanie likes to paint the most is the sky and the sea. And so do I. How did you make this color? Oh, the colors? Well, that's actually, that's one of the most important parts of doing any sort of artwork is how you're using the color. So color theory is the very kind of complicated version, but really it's all just learning how to mix two colors together to get the color that you want. So this color, is this the one you're talking about here? This is kind of like a, one of my signatures. It's like a peachy pink. Um, and that really you just mix white and a little bit of red and a little bit of yellow. Really. When I saw Stephanie's paintings, I was blown away. They're just so beautiful. This one, it's called the Endless Chromatic. Yes, that was one of the major inspirations for it. And then you kind of see the rainbow in the clouds too, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's very colorful. I know, yeah. Stephanie paints with all kinds of paints, but today we used watercolor. These are the three main colors. They're called primary colors. And really when you mix these three colors or just two of them together, you can end up getting all of the other colors. So have you done watercolors before? You have? Okay, perfect. So you know, well, this is my, I like to use this big palette with lots of colors, and I always use a spray bottle. Have you ever used a spray bottle with watercolors? It's my, I don't know if it's my special secret, but it's one that I really like to do. One, just to get all the watercolors wet, so that when you put your brush on it, it'll be already good for you to just pick up the paint. So, the other thing that I really like, and we can play with this too, is I like to spray the paper, so that when you, put the paint on it, um, then sometimes it'll already start to kind of do and move in a way that uh, you want it to, or that it can do on its own. So my favorite part about watercolors is that they like to do whatever they want to do. So sometimes, especially in these types of paintings, I have to really control what I'm doing and really do it um, like on purpose. But here, the water likes to take over and you have to just kind of let the water do what it wants to do. And that's kind of a fun and unique thing. So you can see I'm putting that down and then watch when I spray it. And it kind of starts moving and you can even play around like this. So this would just be if you want to just do a fun little abstract painting. But why don't you try? You can paint too. So you can just pick any colors When you're using watercolor, water is the most important thing. So if you want to spray the paper first, then it doesn't kind of dry as fast. So when we put the, the, um, the paint down, often it will dry really fast and then you can't really go back and work into it. So if you put water down first, then the water won't dry and you can kind of move it around so it's not as hard to, to play with. The other thing about watercolors is sometimes I like to let them dry first and then I'll come back and um, paint over it after that. I'm doing your fill in the rest of that kind of area and then we're almost going to create, oh that looks really pretty, see how the water's kind of fading in right there? It's my yeah. favorite part. I would almost just say you're done, I wouldn't even touch that part anymore. And then it's it's going to start moving if the water all the way into the yellow, it's going to look really neat. Okay, so I, I think you could maybe bring a little bit more pink right down here on the other side of the sun. So pretty. All right, you want to know the secret trick to making the best landscape and especially when you're doing water? So you know how sometimes that the sun reflects onto the water? So the way to show that is to take one of the colors from the sky and put a little bit of it in the water. So I would pick one of your pinks that you wanted and then see what I did right here. 
I just put a tiny bit of it right at that line there. Okay. And then almost just do like one little line right along. Yeah. That looks so nice. Pretty cool. Huh? Yeah, and then you can do, it's pretty much you can do the same thing with all different colors and create all different types of landscapes and seascapes. And all it is is really just lines of color, right? So pretty, you see what's happening up here now? Look at your painting, how it's drying. Oh, that looks so cool. <laughs> yep. It looks like Tida and a sunset in one. <laughs> At the end, when we finished, we decided to exchange paintings. I gave her one of mine and she gave me one of hers. Look! <laughs>